welcome back to Jesus Christ. So I call our sister Eva to lead us in prayer, please. Uh, thank you, Father. Thank you for the gathering. Thank you that you can try and uh, save a soul today. We just ask you for honor. So we pray that they hear your word and that it really touch their heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So we are from Rock Intercessor Ministry. Usually come here every uh, Thursdays. So we'll be here for just one hour to preach the gospel uh, for those who don't know Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ has commanded every Christian to go and preach the good news so that we can bring souls back to God. Amen. And the faith, the word of God says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So if any of us did not go out to preach the good news, you will never know about Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is why it is a mandate for us to go and spread the good news to every soul. Amen. So there's a place I have to read today in the book of Genesis chapter 2. Hopefully you will know why we are here. So this is Genesis chapter 2 verse 9. And the Lord made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground. The trees that were pleasing to the eyes good for food in the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil so this is the place i'm gonna preach today amen we also have bibles here free bibles in case if you need a bible come and collect one amen so the word of god tells us in the book of genesis when god created man he put man in the garden of eden Amen. For them to look after the garden. And in that garden of Eden, there is tree of life, and that tree of life is Jesus Christ. And then also the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But you can see how man being is. God created you in his image for you to live out and to have him. But woman being Adam and Eve disobeyed God, and God told them, The day you eat this fruit, you will surely die. When you eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely do what? Die. And man disobeyed God. So you can see what is going around us here today. It's nothing new. We make choices in life. Adam disobeyed God, he got his punishment. If disobey God, she got her punishment. Satan disobeyed God. Satan also got his punishment. So what you need to know in life, there's a tree of life that was there in the Garden of Eden, but man decided to go and pick the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Whatever you see happening around us today, the crime and the disobedience that is happening in this society, we have to blame ourselves. Amen? Amen? We can never blame God. Because there's a commandment that being issued to man, for man to obey God, to fear God, and to keep his commandment. But man, looking at the tree of knowledge of good and evil, because they want to be wise, and they disobey God, and they eat that tree. Ever since then, we can see the kind of the tree and the fruit that we are producing. Anger issues, Lovers of money, haters of God, smoking issues, drugs, drinking issues, sexual immoralities, all these crimes, all this division, all this envy, all this enmity are the fruit of what? The knowledge of good and evil. And that is why God was warning them not to touch that story so that they will not have the knowledge of what? good and evil. Amen? So the same word of God is warning us today for us not to go and do the same thing that Adam and Eve did and then sin came into this world. Amen? And now we can see the fruit of those trees that they ate. Amen? Why is it like King, King Abel? 
is because what Adam, his father, eat what the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, and that is where murder came into this world. That is where crimes, hatred, envy, jealousy, and that is kind of the fruit that people are still producing today. But we are here to tell you there's a good news. Amen. There's a good news, and there's a tree that if we eat, those are the fruit of the spirit. Amen. Amen. If man could have ate that tree from the get go, from the beginning, by now you won't see much crime, you won't see much disobedience. Amen. Amen. But that tree of life that was there, they were impatient. And that tree of life is Jesus Christ. And that's why we are here today to tell you about Jesus Christ. So that you can have eternal life. Glory be to God for that. So with all this obedience, God also warns Satan that Jesus Christ is going to crush his head. And he did crush his head. And that is why we are here. We have the gift of what? Forgiveness. There is a fruit of the Spirit that if you feed it, you will start showing love, peace, joy, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, and gentleness. Those are the fruit of the Spirit that we are here to give to you our god is a good god he died for you for a very good reason so that is why we are telling you today come back to jesus christ do not be obedient children bible have already warned us the bible says what when sin fully grow he give birth to what death flesh give what birth to what flesh sin give birth to what Say, and those kind of the tree that you are saying, you can never see apple tree producing orange fruit. No way, it never happened before. Amen. So those who are led by the spirit of God, we produce what? Spirit, we live a righteous life. Spirit give birth to spirit. Perseverance to perseverance, goodness to goodness, self-control to self-control, faith to faith, hope to hope. And the hope that we have in Jesus Christ can never fail us. Amen. So I'm here standing to tell you that three years ago in my life, I will never stand here. I was in the club doing my own thing, think that I was having a good time, even while I was still working there. Can you imagine if I die on that day? I can guarantee you I'm going to hell. Amen? Amen? But today we are here to give you the good news. If you come back to Jesus Christ, there's a way to heaven. And he is the only way. There's no any other name being given among men that we can be saved. The only name that will be given to us to be saved is what is Jesus Christ. And that is why we are here. We are being commanded by God to go and spread the good news. We are not prosperity preaching. No. We preach you about what? The salvation of God. Amen. So we are here to tell you one thing. Jesus Christ loves you. He loves you. That's why the Bible says what well, God is love. And not just that, God also commanded us to do what? To show love to one another. That is a commandment. It's unnegotiable. You cannot negotiate it. You must have love in your heart. So if you see me preaching here, you hate me, I feel sorry for you because you, you, all, all you need in your life is to come back and you need Jesus Christ so that you can have love in your life. Amen? Every time I go out to preach, people persecuting me. That is Christophobia. There's a lot of things going around you do not see. But God is calling you today for you to come and have love in your life so that you can have eternal life. What shall it profit a man to gain everything and then lose his soul? What a shame. So the word of God is warning you today. Come back to Jesus Christ. And he will open your eyes. You are all walking. Spiritually dead. You can see but you are actually blind. Because you are blind to the sin. And the Bible says well those that walk in darkness. They don't want the light. But Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And the darkness can never comprehend light. That light of God. That is why God is light. When Adam and Eve sinned, what did they do? They were very embarrassed. They were very shameful of the sins they committed. And because of that, they hide because they were naked. Many of us are.